All right, impaired caregiver. So this is something that we all know because we all work with youth or families and we think the caregiver is impaired here. This, the mother has problems or the father has problems or the, the grandparents have problems, but we don't really think about how that is traumatic for young people. We might have some personal experiences and, and think about how that was hard for us, but it is a traumatic experience for young people to have your, you know, ideally you're supposed to have people around you who care and protect you and who give you your childhood, which is to be cared for and protected and a safe place to learn and grow. And not a lot of us got entirely that picture, but the more you get of it, the better you turn out. And we're gonna talk about secure attachment and unsecure attachment. But these are kids that have, um, that don't have the adequate nurturance, guidance, and support, um, nor attend to their basic developmental needs due to their own mental illness. We don't think about that enough, but mental illness of an adult, even depression. Um, uh, I have a lot of kids whose parents were missing for periods of time because they went into treatment or they couldn't live with their parents. Um, substance abuse, we know a lot about how substance abuse affects kids, but even parents that were able to keep their kids, their substance abuse affects their kids because their parents could be there one day and not there one day, physically there, but not emotionally there. So if you think about an alcoholic parent who one day is in a caretaking role and the next day not, that really affects the young person's attachment because that doesn't make sense to a child. 